Did you know this is an example of sexual harassment? Sexual harassment is defined as unwanted sexual actions that can lead to a hostile or offensive environment, especially in teens. Even this small text message conversation can lead to an uncomfortable and unsafe environment for the victim. You need to be educated. Any offense is dangerous. Sexual harassment must be stopped. Sexual harassment occurs every day and can take place anywhere in any way of being verbal or physical in an abusive sexual manner. 81% of people will or have been sexually harassed as a teenager. This number has increased since the production of social media. The reasons for sexual harassment can be from craving sexual attention, referring to quid pro quo, also known as getting sexual favors in return for something, mental or other health and personal issues, or the worst of all, people don't even realize they're doing it. You can recognize it. When a woman says something to a man about their body, it is shocking only because it is rare, but it's not bad. If a man or boy gets touched by a girl, the public won't get involved because men are stronger so they can handle it emotionally. Society has made it that women being protected is more important than a man being protected. Now, if a woman is touched by a male figure, it is very scary and not okay. At this point, the public will get involved and try to protect the girl. Females are sexually harassed more than males are. Sexual harassment is a serious offense, as it is a form of sexual discrimination as described by Title VII of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Title VII states that no one may be treated differently due to their protected class status, including their sex. Further, many states have similar laws and protections in place that apply additional protections based upon gender or sexual orientation. From the 2013 health survey in Just Sohegan, there is a big percentage of students who were forced to do sexual things unwillingly, people who were hurt physically by their significant other, people who were forced to have sexual intercourse when they did not want to, and who have been sexually harassed due to drinking. These are all causes of sexual harassment and forms of it. 13% of the girls were harassed in 2013 in Sauhegan. 5.6% of the boys in Sauhegan were sexually harassed in 2013. The things that sexual harassment causes are <coughs> sleep problems, stress, depression, increase of blood pressure. In rare cases, it can cause suicide, bullying, pregnancy. You are looking for attention. It is the way you dress. He didn't force you, so... It's the way you carry yourself. He gave you a compliment. It's not that serious. You will get over it. You can prevent this. Many girls and boys have prevented sexual harassment and or have found ways to recover from it. For example, Nisha Arter, at age 14, had trusted two boys who later on sexually assaulted her. Nisha was completely traumatized. She went through multiple forms of therapy and basically isolated herself from friends and family. She wouldn't even participate in her other activities. Now, at age 22, Nisha is doing much better than before, but will always be scarred. She shares her story with many to educate about the dangers of sexual harassment. In the United States alone, approximately 1.8 million adolescents have been victims of sexual assault or harassment. 44% of these victims are under the age of 18. Many of those teens from 16 to 19 years of age were three and a half times more likely than the general population. How can you recognize it? It's found through inappropriate messages, sly comments, and unwanted touching or grasping. How can you prevent sexual harassment? Leave sexually based behaviors to yourself, not in school. Treat everyone with respect and speak up when you see harassment. If you don't speak up, you'll never be heard.